Good morning. Welcome back. We're on air again or on, on uh, streaming again or, or recording or however you want to say it, depending on what generation you're from. So, uh, but uh, welcome and we'll go ahead and get started this morning. It's not raining today for a change uh, or, or rainy, but uh, nice and sunny. It's supposed to be the hottest day of the week. So we'll, uh, you got something to look forward to after the after today, it should start cooling off a little bit for the week. But anyway, well, who'd like to get us started off this morning? Well, come on up. I thought Susan was going to it first, and then, and then she kind of leaned back again. So, but come on up. I don't want to think too long. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Tani Day. Um, I have been cleaning houses and businesses for 30 years. I was trained professionally when I was 18 years old. Uh, it was Mary Mays. And I learned that I could do a better job and do it with more of a personal touch than they were doing. And I had a knack for it. And I just, I enjoy cleaning houses. I use non-toxic products and I have incorporated essential oils into my cleaning and disinfecting. And uh, you can call me at 931-993-7995. I'm serving the Fort Smith and surrounding areas. Thank you very much. Right. So, uh, if you need uh, any cleaning done, get a hold of Tani. Uh, uh, we've had cleaners before, and they all had the same mindset. I like to clean. That, I don't understand that mindset. But anyway, but that, that's why that's why we have y'all, and why we need y'all. So, okay. Uh, who else? Oh, okay, now Susan's going to come I'm on up. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Susan with Bancorp South. Uh, we have eight locations here in the Fort Smith, Van Buren, Alma, and Greenwood areas. Uh, we're a pretty large bank out of Tupelo, Mississippi, $13 billion bank. Um, we have a full line of checking, savings, uh, safe deposit, a lot of products that you all are familiar with. But one thing I'd like to mention is we also have some other products that at my bank and probably at yours that you probably need to check into. We have a trust department, we have an investment services. Uh, investment services can sell stocks, bonds, treasury bills, annuities, and give you some other options for planning for your future, your 401k, where you want to move that eventually when you leave your employer. You need to house that somewhere. And we have a full line of investment products for, for that. Our investment uh, person locally is Don Young. And he is very mobile. He will meet with you outside the bank, at a coffee shop, wherever you want to go, or you can go to his office. So if you have any needs like that, please let me know. I'm Susan with Bank Corp South. Thank you. And uh, that ding you heard is the reminder to turn your phones down if you've got them up still. Uh, so. Okay. Who's going next? Um, I need need to look over this direction too. Okay. Come on up, Linda. And good morning. I'm Linda with Cozy Quilts and Things. Update on our new opening. It will be July the first. Still yet, as far as I know, we're in the process of building new shelving to get it to, uh, to go in. Other ideas, uh, things to be possibly carried within the shop for sale we're still looking at uh, hopefully we will have everything that you're looking for also I have been released to where I can quilt again so I am back to quilting and trying my best to get the row by row block finished um, at this moment my embroidery machine has decided it has a mind of its own and it's not going to do what I want so therefore I have a lady uh, that I have coming with her embroidery machine so that whenever my row by row is finished, it's on the go. It will have a fictitious shop. It's called um, Scrap Shack. And then you'll have a big tree which is outside the front door of my shop. And then it will have my shop with cozy quilts on it and a truck headed my direction of course and everything so I am looking forward to getting it finished and getting it posted so I am Linda with cozy quilts and things 
<laughs> so, and she's released to be able to quilt again. So, okay, when you said released, it's like, oh my, she, they, we, we, we've let her go. She's free again. So, okay. All right, come on up, Joanne. I'm Joanne with Pain Go Away Magnetic Jewelry for me and women, our pets. In fact, I have a dog collar to make this week for Ron. Uh, they do help in the dogs with the mobility is bad or the pain. The older dogs is what needs them. And they do work. I've made 10 and I know for sure that 8 of them have worked good. Uh, this is good for arthritis, uh, fibromyalgia, about any kind of pain. Uh, there are a few people it won't help, but most of them it will. And I guess most of the time you can reach me at 479-461-5488 or on Saturday from 7 to 12 at Fort Smith Farmer's Market down by the Garrison Avenue Bridge. All right. So if you need any of the necklaces or bracelets or <coughs> for your ankle bracelets or whatever you need, just so you know how to get hold of it. All right. Well, May, why don't you come on up? And then that's right. You are. Good morning, I'm May, and I'm with High Society Boutique, and we've got new items in. Um, we also, there's things going on in historical Van Buren that you need to come down and see on Thursday evenings. We're open till 8, and we have the passports going again, so you can actually win money. So it's, it's always nice to have that extra cash to spend. Uh, we have entertainment on the street. This Saturday we have the glow run going on down there and now the runners will actually be glowing and it, it, the money is going to go to the new art center that's coming in. So come on down and join in on the festivities. Most of us will probably be open till 9 on Saturday night. Okay. Downtown Van Buren open till 9 on a Saturday night. I don't think that's happened. Yeah, I don't think that's happened in 40 or 50 years that Van Buren has been open that late. So uh, that, that'll, that will be something. So that, that's something to go check out and see. Okay. And while you're there, be sure and go into May store and get your, your concealed carry purse and get your other clothing and, and all that kind of stuff. So, okay. Well, I'm Ron with uh, Carter's Audio Video. It's starting to come out a little more uh, uh, easily, but uh, we do uh, uh, lighting, uh, audio, uh, so sound equipment, that kind of thing for churches, businesses, homes. Uh, the lighting that normally is like uh, LED lights or, or can lights, uh, stage type lighting, but we can do room lighting and control all of that as well. Uh, then uh, video equipment, whether that's for a business, uh, for, for theater, uh, for churches, or whatever, uh, we can take care of all of that, uh, all your needs on that. And uh, we can, a lot of it you can control from, uh, from your phone. Uh, as far as some of that, you can control it if you're gone and, and want to use, you know, want to change different things on your lighting and all. Uh, similar to some of the security stuff, but but normally this is more for, for while you're there. Uh, it's easier to use your phone than go find a, a remote control somewhere or run over to the other side. God forbid any of us should have to get up and go over to the other side of the room and hit a switch. You just pull your phone out because it's always with you and, and change it. But anyway, uh, also with, uh, I was going to say as far as sound uh, equipment, uh, we do the home stereo systems and all of that. So if you've got, uh, if you've got a patio or whatever and you're wanting to put sound out there or stereo out there or divide it up into different sections, you have some stuff going on in your in your house and, and either at a different time or something different out there or whatever, we can control all of that and, and uh, set all that up for you as well. If you uh, need a, a uh, quote or need to talk to anyone, you can either go online and go to Carter's AV dot com or you can call 646-5901.
but that I run with Carter's audio video. All right. And for our five minute this morning, uh, Adam's going to come up and he's going to tell us everything he wants us to know today. Come on up, Adam. I am Adam L. Spain with the Eden Wellness Alliance. Health and wellness the way God intended. All natural, non-invasive approaches to your health, wealth, and relationships. And to start a better habit, we can be reached at 479-207-0872. Or any of the other associated links that you undoubtedly will find in the descriptions or different things like that. Um, so what we have going on, as far as announcements to get those out of the way, I don't have any events coming up this in the next couple weeks. I believe there is a uh, Egg and I coming up later on this month, though. So if anyone wants to come to that, learn a bit more about essential oils, uh, especially their use during summertime, then that would be a good time to come and do. Uh, we may do some. We may do a different subject because we talked a lot about summertime and the use of oils last time we did it. It just kind of went that way naturally. So we may do something a little bit different, but we'll see. You have to be, must be in attendance to find out type thing. <clears throat> as far as what we're doing with uh, regular things, we still have the Thursday events going on. Those are online only, and they are the State of the Association address. We went over last time eight different things that you can do for summertime, and um, we don't always find articles that we like. Sometimes we find articles that we don't like so that we can point them out. And that one, the last one was kind of a meh article because they, it was supposed to be about summertime, but really there wasn't any, uh, only about half or less of the, the tips for health that were given were about summertime. So there is that. Uh, they didn't talk about the increased need for uh, fluids during the summer which I thought was odd. They didn't touch on that. But that is something that apparently people have to be reminded about because every year you have people not getting enough water during the summertime or increasing their water intake and then suffering because of it. So just as a quick tip for, for those that want to know how much water they need to drink each day, you need to take your uh, weight in pounds cut it in half, and that's about how much water you need per day. And that's just an average. That's that's what you need per day in general. That's not activity. That's not doing uh, any kind of strenuous walking or work or just being out and having to sweat a lot when it gets warm. Does that have any ounces of water we need how or many how many ounces? pounds of water we need? How many ounces of water? <laughs> okay. So if 150 pound person. Okay. okay. That many ounces? You, you, that wasn't quite clear, so what do they? Make, okay, make you don't sure. need that many pounds of water. Okay. Okay. You don't need that many pounds of water. Okay. So, yes, it's ounces. But you would, of course, need to increase that and try to replace some electrolytes if you're losing those during your activities. Um, and remember that when you drink something, you know, drinking tea, that's not replacing your water because your body is going to need that water to digest and assimilate the nutrients in the tea. So that does not the water. So those are things that you want to kind of keep in mind. When you say blank amount of water, it is water. It is not Gatorade. It is not <clears throat> whatever other electrolyte you want to put in there. It is water. So those are things to keep in mind. Um, as far as uh, other things that we have coming up, uh, other things that we're doing, we are still doing our best treatments, which is kind of like a, bio, a uh, chiropractic adjustment without the snap, crackle, pop. Still doing the massage therapy and integrated reflexology, as well as using the oils with our client, with our members, to be able to help them get the best out of their health. Uh, we still do the counseling with people about different goals that they would like to achieve also. Um, we'll have people come in occasionally and they'll have a, it's usually a health goal, though it does not have to be because your brain can work with you or against you, you know, that 
that mind can work with you or against you depending on what you're wanting to accomplish and your past history with different things, the way it's associating with your past and different stuff like that. Because those things dictate how you make decisions in the future. And we help people work around or work through and get their body to better adjust to its current need and situation, which is what's the which is what is needed and needful to happen for them to achieve what they're wanting to. Because a lot of the times it will either take them longer or they will not achieve what they would like to. Simply because they're having that held back because of their past. Or because of the way they're anticipating the future to be. So those are different things that we can work on with people. Um, we still welcome any questions, comments, observations. We have a, a different gift that we usually bring. We have our wild orange today. So um, for anybody who wins those, you can use wild orange. Because it's the doTERRA brand, you can use it just to smell it. You can use it actually on you if you want to. Or you can use it in your water. I am Adam L. Spain with the Eden Wellness Alliance. Health and wellness the way God intended. All natural, non-invasive approaches to your health, wealth, and relationships. Okay, Adam, just a type off here. Um, talking about water, um, I've been making an observation within the last year that um, I would say that people with diabetes, especially in the one that is controlled, uh, I have noticed that if I do not have as much intake of water as I should, my numbers goes up. And whenever I start in drinking my water again like I should, my numbers go back down. So uh, have you ever noticed that in any of your stuff that you eat or whatever? Well, that's definitely something that is observable in, in people that have diabetes. The, uh, in case it didn't pick up, she made an observation that her numbers get better when she intakes the appropriate amount of water when she's testing her blood sugar. And that is accurate because if there's less water in the system, it's going to be more concentrated. Everything's going to be more concentrated, uh, including your sugars. You always want to be getting that amount of water that you have because if we were to take, if we were to just go out and look at the general population, practically everybody would be dehydrated. In any given point during the day because they're not drinking their water and keeping it with them. So that's something that someone that's got a, a health situation going on, they don't just need that ounce of the, that weight halved in ounces. They need a little bit more because their body's having to work harder and do more things as if it is working and exercising. So they might need to bump that up a few ounces to get a better result from their water intake. And to drink the appropriate type of water is good. So, any other questions before I step over to the side? Yeah, I've got one. Okay. On your doTERRA oil, why is it, why are you able to drink it, not drink it, but put it in your water, when other brands you can't? What is the difference? Okay, the difference, the reason that I am willing to recommend people an internal route for their do, for the doTERRA oil is simply because of their quality assurance. I know that doTERRA has no contaminants. Um, doTERRA does the testing, it's called CPTG, and they have set the industry standard because it stands for Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade. It is, by all accounts, above organic. They make sure when they get it that they test it there after it's got that first bit taken off, that first harvesting of oil off. They test it right then, make sure there's no contaminants. And that's where most, a, a lot of companies would just kind of stop there. Okay, we've got the oil. This, okay, it's, it's, well, doTERRA does those same six tests throughout their production into the, actual bottling of it and then they will do like a drug company and take it, some bottles off after they've already bottled it after they've already gone to the trouble of lotting it uh, putting the lot number on it getting them in the bottles all of that thing they then take some out sample it again and if it doesn't meet the parameters if it has any kind of contaminants in it that are going to be 
picked up or, or seen or any kind of thing that's going to make it inappropriate for putting it into the system in all the ways that they say is okay, they scrap that whole lot. They don't just scrap those bottles, they scrap that whole lot. And they've done that with things. They've done that with expensive oils. Mm -hmm. They they did that with uh, Melissa, which is fifty, sixty dollars a bottle at the whole at the member price. It's an expensive oil, but it is an oil that they wanted to make sure was one hundred percent what they said it was. That it wasn't diluted with something or anything like that. They do. There is a little caveat to that because some of the more resiny oils, like the myrrh, they have to add a little bit of coconut, otherwise it would just turn to resin inside the bottle. That's the only one that I'm aware of that they do that with. And that's just to make sure it can come out. So, any other questions? I am Adam L. Spain with the Eden Wellness Alliance, Health and Wellness the way God intended. All right. And if you haven't ever put a drop or two of uh, wild orange in your water, you ought to try it sometimes. It's not orange juice, but it, it, it's it's a nice flavor. Let's see, I'm, I won't go into all the different ones that I've tried in water. We'll, we can talk about that some other time. But, all right. Any, any other events or anything coming up that uh, we need to know as a group? All right. Y'all already have business after hours this month? Uh, let's see, this is, well, this is the fourth, so, or uh, sixth, so no. Uh, that will be coming up third, yeah, third Tuesday. At the Arvis Bank. Arvis Bank. At Arvis Bank. Okay, so it'll be third Tuesday of the month at Arvis, so. Wednesday. All right. Or, Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday? I think. That, that'd be the business brew. That'd be, yeah, business brew is on Wednesday morning, and then uh, uh, business after hours is on Tuesday uh, in the evening. So, okay, and that's in Van Buren. So, all right. All right. Well, with that, as Adam normally tells us, say, say bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube.